All right. Uh, hey, thank you very much for joining us here at TimForce.com. I'm excited to share with you this three-part series on importing food products into the United States uh, from abroad internationally. And uh, we're going to jump right into the three major uh, processes. I'm going to jump into the first part uh, today with this video. And then we have two more videos uh, to ex explain uh, the ongoing process. Uh, but first, if you don't know me, I'm Tim Forrest. Uh, I've been in the food business for, I've been helping and working with uh, international brands for almost 40 years. I've been bringing international products into the United States uh, for more than 30 years. And I'm excited to share with you uh, this uh, in this uh, three-part series on uh, some of my uh, experience and also the process of actually bringing in uh, food products into the United States and other other products uh, that are that require FDA labeling. And so let's get straight into uh, that process. Let's talk about very quickly prior to the port of entry. And in this video, we're going to talk about everything that's uh, needed prior uh, to shipping your products to the United States and uh, get it, getting ready to bring your products to the U.S. market. So the first thing you want to do, you need to communicate with the FDA. It's going to require paperwork and uh, a lot of uh, documentation and information uh, regarding uh, the products that you're going to bring into the U.S and you're going to need to also share information about manufacturing and uh, everything that happens there uh, with the product before it comes into the united states and so you need to complete all the necessary paperwork uh, that that needs to happen for the food and drug administration you're going to need to do the reporting such that the customs and border patrol um, is aware of your product and that you're going to be and this is called prior notice, aware that it's going to be coming into the port, any port of entry. And that's regardless if you're bringing it by truck from Canada or Mexico, by rail, Canada or Mexico, air, whether that's um, an air carrier service, or even if you're using DHL, FedEx, UPS, or in the mail, you still are required to meet meet the FDA requirements um, if for commercial uh, commercial delivery uh, of um, depending on the product, there may be other paperwork for the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA. Um, also, everything that we're talking about uh, for seafood, seafood is different than a lot of this. And so there's some additional requirements for seafood that you get into, but we're, we're not going to go into that specifically today. You're going to be responsible for the packaging. Packaging needs to be in English. Also, it needs to meet FDA requirements. So the Customs and Border Patrol, they're they're well versed on the requirements. More than likely, on first-time shipments, will be closely inspected uh, for F meeting FDA requirements for the packaging. So that that needs to happen. Also, you're going to need Dunn's number uh, to to be important to the United States, and that's a uh, a requirement. Along with, you're going to need someone in the United States um, that is going to have an office here. So you need a a telephone, a fax. You, you're going to need a U.S. address uh, for your product. We do supply that for our clients, uh, but that is something that you're going to need uh, to bring products into the United States. And then um, also you're going to need to be able to uh, share when you bring bring the product over that the product is safe and that it was manufactured according to uh, safe guidelines and whatever those those the protocols are, protocols are for that particular product. For instance, there's uh, standard protocols for slaughterhouse, standard protocols for uh, washing uh, produce so all of those uh, have to be met along with any if it's a, a if it's a produce item uh, u.s department of agriculture uh, the requirements and paperwork for them will be have to be included if if you work with us on setting all this up we also supply a certificate of compliance uh, that you are set up with the fda and that, uh, that everything is going forward if you've got an innovative product and you're interested in bringing the product into the United States, um, jump on my calendar or send me a note, Tim at TimForce.com. You can jump on my calendar. Uh, if you're interested in, in bringing a product here to the United States at TimForceMarkets.com and uh, have a great day. If you're seeing this anywhere other than TimForce.com or my YouTube channel, YouTube.com slash TimForceConsulting, uh, jump over there, like, and subscribe and leave a comment. And if this, gave you value this video please leave a thumbs up and uh, we'll have a couple more um, 
about this in this series uh, for importing products into the into the United States. I'm going to go in more detail in the future episodes regarding uh, the day uh, shipping, actually shipping and going through a port, going through a U.S. port, and then also after the port, what happens there. Thanks a lot. And again, would enjoy talking to you. Jump on my calendar at timforestmarkets.com if you have an innovative product that you're interested in bringing into the United States. And have a great day. Thank you.